Now, the salvage cranes that will lift the Seoarho ferry up from where it sits have arrived at the scene a little earlier than expected, as our Soa told us earlier in the newscast. But it could take up to two months to get the 6,800-ton ferry to shore, and authorities aren't yet sure when the lift will start. Song Ji Son has this report. Four years ago, when the Korean warship Cheonan was sunk, it took one month to lift it from the ocean floor, and it weighed just one fifth of what the Seolho does. The passenger ferry, at more than 6,800 tons, is one of the largest operating in the nation. 180 vehicles and cargo weighing 1,200 tons were on board when the ferry departed Tuesday evening local time. Add that to the water that has since inundated the ferry, the total weight that the cranes will have to lift easily exceeds 10,000 tons. Three cranes with capacity of 8,500 tons combined have approached near the waters of the sunken site and are on standby. But the government says the lift will not be carried out without the consent of families of the missing, as shifting the vessel could jeopardize the safety of possible survivors, who at this point would have to rely on air pockets to stay alive. The ferry must be turned upright first in order to be lifted to minimize further damage and to stabilize the lifting process. Divers will fasten cable wires underwater to the vessel to lift it, but authorities say the lack of experience in lifting a vessel of this size, along with fast currents and poor visibility, could delay the process. Song Jae-seon, Arirang News.